Hey guys, welcome back to Explore. Today we'll talk about seven things to do in a job interview to guarantee you get hired. Let's head into it. Number seven, practice and prepare. Review the typical questions employers ask and practice your responses in the job interview. Strong responses are those that are particular but concise. Drawing on specific examples that highlight your abilities and back up your resume. Your responses should also highlight the abilities that are most important to the employer and relevant to the role. Be sure to check the job listing, make a list of specifications, and match them to your experience. If it doesn't answer the exact question you are being asked, then even the most well-prepared responses will fall short. While it is important to familiarize yourself with the best answers, in order to ensure your responses give the interviewer the data they are looking for, it is equally important to listen carefully during your interview. In addition, have a list of your own questions ready for the employer to ask. You'll be asked in almost every interview if you have any questions for the interviewer. In order to show your interest in the organization, it is important to have at least one or two questions prepared. Otherwise, you might come across as apathetic, which for hiring managers is a major turnoff. Number six, develop a connection with the interviewer. You should also try to develop a connection with your interviewer. In addition to indicating what you know about the company, understand the name of the interviewer and use it during the job interview. Call and ask prior to the interview if you're not sure of the name. And during the introduction, listen very carefully. If you're inclined to forget names, write them down discreetly somewhere, like in small letters at the bottom of your notepad. Building relationships and making a personal connection with your interviewer can ultimately increase your chances of getting hired. People tend to hire applicants they like and who seem to fit the culture of the company well. Here's how to get on your side with a hiring manager. Number five, research the company and show what you know. Do the employer and the industry your homework and research. So you are ready for the interview question, what do you know about this company? If this question is not asked, you should try to show on your own what you know about the company. By tying what you have learned about the company into your answers, you can do this, you might say. For instance, I noticed that your customer satisfaction ratings improved dramatically when you implemented a new software system last year. From my experience of developing software at ABC, I am well versed in the latest technologies and appreciate a company that strives to be a leader in the industry. On its website, you should be able to find a lot of information about the history, missions, and values, employees, culture, and recent successes of the company. If the business has a blog and a presence on social media, they can also be helpful places to look. Number four, get ready ahead of time. To pick out an interview outfit, print extra copies of your resume or find a notepad and pen. Don't wait until the last minute. Have one great interview outfit ready. So without having to worry about what to wear, you can interview on short notice. Get everything ready the night before you have an interview lined up. Not only will you buy time in the morning by planning everything, from what shoes you're going to wear, how you're going to style your hair, what time you're going to leave, and how you're going to get there. It can help reduce job search anxiety, and it will also save you from having to make decisions, which means you can use that brain power for your interview. Make sure your attire for the interview is neat, tidy, and suitable for the type of company you are interviewing with. With additional copies of your resume, bring a nice portfolio, including a note-taking pen and paper. If you have a virtual interview, have all the technology set up and ready in advance. Do a trial run to make sure that everything works correctly and that you are comfortable with it. Number three, be on time. That means early. For the interview, be on time. On time means five to 10 minutes ahead of time, if necessary. Drive ahead of time to the place of the interview so you know exactly where you are going and how long it will take to get there. Take into account the time of your interview so that at that time you can adjust to local traffic patterns to visit the restroom, check your outfit, and calm your nerves. 
give yourself a few extra minutes. Number two, try to stay calm. Try to unwind and stay as calm as possible during the job interview. Remember that as much about you as your answers to the questions. Your body language says, proper preparation will enable you to exude trust. Maintain eye contact with the interviewer as you answer questions. Be sure to pay attention to the question so you do not forget it. And listen to the whole question before answering, using active listening, so you know exactly what the interview is asking. At all costs, avoid cutting off the interviewer, especially when he or she is asking questions. That's totally fine if you need to take a moment to think about your answer, and it is a better option than starting with multiple ums and uhs. To keep your nerves calm, check out these tips on preventing job interview stress. Reviewing these tips for introverts will be a great place to start if the thought of a job interview puts you in panic mode. Number one, follow up after the interview. Always follow up on the position with a thank you note reiterating your interest. During your interview, you can also include any details you may have forgotten to mention. If you interview multiple individuals from the same company, send a personal note to each of them. Within 24 hours after your interview, send your thank you email. The extra effort is worth it. A Robert Hulf survey reports that 80% of hiring managers said that after an interview, it was helpful or somewhat helpful to receive a thank you note. What do you think about these tips for job interviews? Which one is the best one? Let us know in the comments section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.